I just came back from an amazing trip to Calgary, and when I went there, it was with a family member who attended the big pipeline conference. And while she was busy at the conference, I explored the beautiful city of Calgary. <clears throat> One of the most interesting things I learned. About was a recent water crisis the city faced. A major water pipeline broke, and people have to be really careful with their water use. Luckily, the San Diego County Water Authority stepped in and helped out by sending water pipes, which fixed the problem and got everything back to normal. And I realized the pap. Pipeline conference was a huge deal because、um, experts from all over the world come together, not just to discuss pipelines, but also water and other utility pipelines. This is super important because the pipelines are important for our daily lives. I just want to share some news that was.、Um, In Calgary to talk about the water situation. Emergency Operations Center for the City of Calgary's latest update on the 16th Avenue water main break update.、Uh, today we will be joined by Calgary Mayor Jody Gondek, Calgary Emergency Management Agency Chief. With the feeder main break that occurred last Wednesday, we have been in a situation where water from our Bear Spa treatment plant has not been able to flow through the largest distribution pipe in our system. Half of the city's water supply is unable to get around as it typically does. Time for repair and restoration of water service, and I know that means asking all of us to keep our water use. Lower than usual. San Diego County Water Authority is stepping up to help the city of Calgary in Canada. And Calgary is still in crisis mode after a major water main break. ABC 10 News anchor Aaron Dickens looks at the positively San Diego help being given to the residents there. The San Diego County Water Authority is sending two of these pipes 1,600 miles north. They are going to Calgary. To help with the water crisis. So this is、uh, um, one of、uh, several pieces of pipe that we have in our yard that we store in the case of emergencies. And thankfully, we we're able to release two of these pipe sticks to the city of Calgary, who need it more than we do. Martin Coghill is with the Water Authority. The pipes are being transported from their storage yard in Spring Valley. Okay, thanks, Mike. A former colleague of Coghill's, who used to live in San Diego, now works for the city. Of Calgary, he reached out to see if they had any spare pipes. Why did you want to help right away? Well, it's important、uh, understanding the pressures that the city of Calgary are under. Water supply to a city is is a fundamental to the economy of a city. How will this help? Oh, this plays such a big role in getting our water system restored. Jody Gondek is the mayor of Calgary. Earlier this month, the city had a major water main break. That has been fixed, but she says there are five. Breach points, and to fix those five breach points, we have enough materials on hand for three of them. We needed more for two of them. So, what you are shipping up to us from San Diego helps us get the job done. And it's no small feat. So, what are the heights of these pipes? Let's check it out. They are about six feet five inches tall. I'm about five ten, so you can see. A little bit taller than me. The pipes have a 100-year lifespan. Coghill says each one is a lifeline to the city.、Uh, I can only have a huge amount of empathy for what they're going through.、Um, that prompted me to spray the side of the pipe with a little message for them. His message: to keep the water flowing, and it will. Each pipe will pump billions of gallons of water in its. Two weeks ago. You have managed to save over 600 Olympic swimming pool、uh, size of water usage. 
So 600 Olympic sized swimming pools, that's what you've saved in terms of water. And that is absolutely a gold medal effort. And I want to thank all of you for what you've been doing. I'm happy to report as well that the two pieces of pipe that we've been waiting on from San Diego arrived last night. There are people that are asking why we sourced pipe from San Diego when we could have found it right here in our backyard. Please know that we focused on local options first. Understanding that being able to ship something in from a neighboring community would be a much quicker and much better option. The issue is the size of this pipe. This is not generally the size of pipe that's used in oil and gas operations. Generally, if this type of a part is available, it's because an organization that provides water to residents is the one that has it on hand. And that's why the San Diego County Water Authority has, be, has been such an important partner for us. While we would have welcomed the opportunity to custom make this pipe right here at home, it would have taken a lot of time. And in the interest of getting your water turned on as quickly as possible, we chose the option that would make repairs much faster. We are using local talent to, sand to sandblast and to coat the pipe, and we are all using local experts when it comes to contractors on the work sites, as well as the trades who are helping with so much of the work.